Hey, I'm alive. So is Ashley and Alice. I bet everybody thinks that we uh, jumped ship and got the heck out of here. The past couple days I've been tempted to. Things are just crazy. I knew this was going to happen with the way the spring was. Everything has happened at once. Uh, and there's not enough time in the day to do this, especially when there's only two of us doing everything. But um, we just wanted to do and touch base with everybody. We got a lot of new subscribers and a lot of our original followers, I'm sure, are wondering what the heck's going on. We're all healthy, we're doing well. It's just, I guess, my time management thing got a little <laughs> carried away with my plans this, for what I expected. But we're managing, but there's not much extra time in the day right now. Um, it's We've been starting around seven in the morning and I'm getting done around nine at night. Um, cutting wood some days, but we working here mostly on the farm. Um, and the strawberries have a pest that's been bothering them. Um, they're doing well, but not as good as they should. I'm not gonna complain about them yet, because I think they're gonna be all right. I've had to spray every night, though. We're using an organic spray. I'll cover more details of what it is. Um, it's Piganic, if, and like I said, we'll 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 touch base on some details here in, in a video coming up. But I just wanted to give everybody a quick what's going on. But it's a leaf hopper. It's a little bug, very tiny, the size of a flea, and it, they like to eat the foliage and uh that's what i've been dealing with i've been babysitting these things all day every day so they're kind of under control right now i'm on the fourth round of spray and it seems to really start putting a hurting on them and they've started to bounce back a lot of new leaves are starting to come up so i think we're going to be all right just got to stick with it cannot even give it a day you know to let the bugs get under out of control squash these things are going like crazy i don't know if i showed you anything once we get these planted but they're on black plastic under here this is reme or known as agrabon we use it instead of using insecticides we're not an organic but we're trying to grow without chemical pesticides um, the strawberry stuff is pyrethrin which is from a chrysanthemum flower and yeah it's poisonous but it's better than some of the uh, Monsanto conventional sprays that we could be using so we're gonna give it a whirl that's the goal up here I want to stay away from that stuff if I can but uh, we got some clips that I got from when we planted these and we made some hay over a week ago now just a little bit to try the equipment out and I got that couple clips of that so I'm gonna throw that on here and we'll try to get some videos up after this one of what's going on now because these couple clips you'll see are from like a week ago week and a half but hopefully everybody's doing good Thanks for watching. Sorry we haven't had a video out <laughs> in quite a while, but any of you that know this lifestyle can relate and there will be some slower times, I think, coming up um, to get some consistent foot, uh, foot videos out. So for now, I'll catch you on the next one. What are we at? A thousand? Over a thousand? We're over a thousand now. Right? Yes. Over a thousand plants. Yes, because those two rows are eight. Those two rows were eight hundred. So this would be 
Hey, this would be 1100 1100 because it's yes. 200 per row? Yep. No, 400 per Four. row. 400 Four per row. This would be 1200 12, yeah. yeah. What? So the mulch layer works. I think it will work good if it's not muddy, but we pushed it pretty hard and made it happen. The bed's not quite uniform. It's missing some pockets, so. A lot of hand, still a lot of handwork. Yeah, still a lot of handwork. But like a spot right here, come right over here, I'll show you. This right here has got a nice firm bed and it's pretty simple with these little tools. You can make these out of a piece of flat stock. You just lay it on there. Pull your root through, and it's done. That's in the, the ideal spot. <laughs> but we're gonna have plenty of strawberries, I think. Yes, I think you are. <laughs> Only 3,600 left to go. Huh? 3,600 left to go. <laughs> <laughs> and we should have around 6,000 plus quarts. Because there's more, there's more in the pound in the quart. Is there? Yeah. Like two pounds? This is... You with the air pockets though, I think we'll be okay. No, I know. As long as you bring this dirt... We got it done, didn't we? We did! That was an absolute day and a half. Crossed. Alice kept her fingers crossed because <laughs> we just had a major, I would say, part one of yes, part one, part three success. <laughs> meaning, part one, we got everything prepped. Now we got to grow everything, and then we got to we market all the strawberries. Market everything, and we just got the last of the plastic laid. Get all the strawberries in. You printed strawberries. Past weekend. Go ahead and show them. See, it's starting to green up. Just we planted. Alice, do you remember how many we planted? E you say 5,800 strawberry plants by hand. Now we just gotta hope that they take. They seem to be doing okay. If there's one improvement the mulch layer could have done, the center of the beds weren't getting filled very well. So I need to improve that for following years. But but we also had really crappy luck with the oh, was, soil. The soil was really wasn't ideal. It was clay-like. We have thick clay-like soil up here anyways, but with all the crappy weather we've had, it just it then, didn't uh, want to dry out and planted annual ryegrass as a living mulch. I didn't have any straw available uh, yet. We'll grow our own eventually. So we're gonna try this living mulch and keep it mowed in between the aisles. And it should, it should make for a pretty decent walkway for picking so you're not all muddy and the fruit stays clean. Um, so we get the squash in, I mean the strawberries, and then we just finished our squash beds. This evening. <clears throat> Thankfully this was a little bit drier. The mulch layer worked flawless down here. Look at that, just for, looks like for miles. <laughs> it does, doesn't it? It really does. It's a decent size area, but. Sunset in the back. It's only two-thirds of an acre. Yep. So. Right here we'll have our butternut, buttercup, delicata, yeah, be, squashes, and pumpkins. Two, two buttercup, um, two butternut, and then a row of delicata, and then a row of pumpkins. Row of pumpkins, yep. So we got plenty of stuff to grow. This right here, I'm saving. We're going to grow some storage carrots and storage beets. Quite a few of them. We eat a lot of those throughout the summer and winter. Yeah, maybe two rows, maybe three. Um, so we may have a bunch of those to sell as well. Wait and see. I we'll think see we got what to do though. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a very busy but fun weekend.
it would have been a lot more enjoyable if it was over the course of yeah, the course of the entire we spring, strawberries planted two weeks rather ago. than, you know, we were talking the other night, we would have done, you know, the strawberries, and then, you know, a week or two later, it would have been the squash, and now, this weekend, it was strawberries, now squash, and then we've got to start haying next weekend, so, all crammed into one, but it's been good. We've made the best of it. This row, I read, this is where we ran out of strawberries, yep. so we've got one, one row. But hopefully everybody's craving strawberries from <laughs> August and yes. September and October. Yeah, remember guys, this is a later berry. It's yep. not your typical June bearer where, what, pickings all of June, end mid, of June, end of end June of into July. No. These are day neutral or an ever bearing, they call them. And so we'll have Alice, berries Alice, don't look at that. the end of August through August. October-ish. Or until yep. the frost. Till till the, they get heavy frost. Yep. Um, I'll start planting our buttercup tomorrow. At the buttercup winter squash. It's starting to get pretty big in the greenhouse, so the delicata and butternuts way behind. Um, yeah, we need to. They're growing. Like I planted those Friday, Saturday, and Friday. Right. And they're going crazy already. Like, they're ready to be put in the ground. I'm a little bummed we didn't film the mulch they were working, but we've been shorthanded ever since. Shorthanded, and it was just, bit, we needed to just get it done, and we just... And then one of us, I have to I have to look straight ahead, because whoever comes up here and picks is going to notice the strawberry rose got a little crook in them here and there, because <laughs> as soon as they turn, it's just naturally turn your head, and then... And it goes with moves. you. Mm -hmm. So the squash I wanted to make straight, and these ones come out, these ones came out perfect. Here he is. First time with the new Craigslist mower. Looks like it's working pretty good. <laughs> He's right in his glory. Get it? 